the collaborative math space in Google Slides is easy. On the first slide, you should put the criteria the students are expected to follow and how they are to use the slide deck. So here you'll find that I've told them that this is a collaborative math warm-up, that they can add anything they want to a slide. So they're going to find their very own slide that no one else has worked on, and then they can add information to that slide by using a whiteboard selfie, they can use a video or audio to explain their thinking, or they can just type their response. And it's also really important to notice here that I've encouraged the students to check out their classmates' answers. Then um, you can build um, your prompt. This prompt is a which one doesn't belong, so there are no right or wrong answers. The next slide is the actual student slide. This is where they're gonna post their thoughts. They can type their response, they could do a whiteboard selfie, or um, they can um, also insert a video. Um, they're gonna add their name on it, and that's all they have to do. Now, I add a couple extras just to remind the students not to submit the card, and I'm gonna explain that part piece and the hopper part later. But I go to Giphy, and I'm just going to use this little Giphy to remind the students not to submit the card. So I'm gonna grab that URL, and then I'm going to add it here. You can add any Giphy uh, GIFs to your slides this way. I'm gonna resize it and then I'm just gonna tuck it out of the way over here so the students are reminded not to submit that card. Now, I want to provide enough slides for everyone in my class. Here's a quick shortcut. If you press Control D, it will, oops, when you're just here, Control D will actually duplicate the card. So I'm going to do that a whole bunch of times so there's enough slides in the deck for all of my students. And that's how you make a collaborative uh, math space in Google Slides. Um, I would recommend using low floor, high ceiling tasks like this one. There's no right or wrong answer. Or you could use a, kind of a math fight um, version, which is, you know, they have to choose a side and defend their choice. Turning your collaborative Google Slide into a collaborative work environment is very easy in Happer Workspace. First, go to Students and Groups and make sure your entire class is added as one into one group. Go back to your workspace. And then scroll down to where you would like to add your collaborative task. Press the plus sign. I think it's really important here to add a header card so the students will know that it is a collaborative task. I have all mine kept here in my Google Drive. So I've selected my header card so the students will know that it's a math warm up. I'm just gonna X that out. I'm also gonna provide them with another reminder to not submit this card. Unfortunately, if a student um, submits this card, all others will lose access to the card until you as a teacher return it for edit, which is easy to do. But it's nice to keep giving them little reminders. The next part you're going to do is you're going to actually select the task that you made in your Google Drive. So I have um, an entire folder called warm up. So it's really easy to find the task in my Google Drive here. And here it is. Now you need to cha change the sharing options to copy per group. Once that is done, um, you want to select which group. So I just want this whole class group to have a copy of this. And now I'm done. You could give them a scheduled start date and a due date, but at this time I'm not going to do that. Here is the collaborative card. I am just going to change the color just so it looks a little nicer. Now the students have group access to this one slide deck. It won't be making them an individual copy of this. All they have to do now is scroll through, select a blank card and write their name on it. They can also take a look at other people's work and it can also be giving them feedback. So for example, let's pretend somebody has given feedback, uh, has posted their work here. You could teach your students how to use the comments th 
thread to actually post what they like about it. You could write, wow, oops, wow, what a cool way to show your thinking. So you as the teacher could do this or the student. And if they use the um, ad thing, they can actually, you can assign it to that student. So they will get an email about that comment. So that's how you make a collaborative thinking space in HackerWorks.